This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 002. Subject analysis of Doomslayer, January 24th, 2163. There is no chance that the subject is a demon. He is male with a genome that makes him very much a member of the human race. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god, an avenging angel, the right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has... It, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve. Maybe he represents humankind's rage, their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. The only thing they fear is him. He cut through them like, like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own. He is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is... Doom. There is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time is now. <laughs> and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. 
thought we slaughtered thousands and millions more followed. But then he came. Maybe... Maybe he is a god. Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, all species, will not survive. <laughs>